Debbie here, aka Veil the Stitcher. You can find me on Instagram at Veil underscore the underscore Stitcher, although I haven't been posting there a lot lately. <laughs> um, welcome back. We are here to do another cross stitching update. I am one day late just because the Thanksgiving weekend, um, there just wasn't enough time. So uh, let's get into it. The I guess the first things I want to show you are my two finishes. Um, last week I was working on let's see here. Last week I was working on this ornament. I had all the cross stitching done and I just needed to do the back stitch and the beads. all done. I love the beard. I believe I have um, some close-up video that I will insert at the end of showing these two also if possible. Um, and here's the other one. This is Yellow, po Yellow Polka Dot Bikini by Plum Street. The other one was a Mill Hill kit. Um, this one was stitched on 25 count natural Lugana, one over one. This has been mounted on an eight by 10 canvas, blank canvas. And I've added a little bit of ribbon, a little bit of uh, jute twine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clasp on some charms on each of those because right here, they're, they're loose here, they're attached at the back. I'm going to attach some charms to it and then I'm going to get that out in the mail. So both of these are going to go to my mom for her birthday. So that felt really good to get those done. Uh, the next project I worked on was my Mirabilia. This is Gypsy Queen. And I am just trying to get closer and closer to starting on the beading. Uh, this past time my goal was to work on the medallion in her sash right there. And if you watched my um, Thanksgiving vlog, you would have seen some close-up progress on this piece. So let me just show real quick. So here's her sash now, her medallion or whatever. Um, all of the stitches are done except for beads. So the next thing I want to do is over here, there is a lantern, and I'm gonna fill in that lantern with everything but beads also. Uh, but before I had gotten started on the uh, that really large medallion, I um, noticed some piece, some spaces I had missed. Um, right up here, she has a necklace that's in Krynik, and so I did that. And then I noticed some Krynik missing in these strands, so I did that. And then when I was finished with this medallion, if you notice these little empty patchwork squares around, um, I went through them and put in the Cairn water lilies that are called for. And the last thing that's needed for them are beads. So we are getting closer and closer to beading. I think I'm gonna do the 
lantern here. There's, I think, a strand of beads or two at the very bottom that needs some Karen Water Lilies. And then uh, there's some back stitching in the leaves. And other than that, the rest is beading. So I think my goal for this week is going to be to try and finish everything about her except for the beads. So that would be amazing. That would basically give me all of December to finish beading and you know, I, I definitely feel confident that this will be a finish before the end of the year and I love that. Still so fun to stitch on. Um, the last project I worked on was my Heaven and Earth design um, called Ex Machina by Chris Ortega. Uh, you will see a image of what it will look like when it's finished here. And you will also see an image of where it was the last time we spoke. And this is where it is now. Actually, I think it's better if I go over here. So, I apologize for the lighting today. It's, um, the light is super weak today for some reason. I mean, I know it's winter, but... I live in the desert and the light is just seems extra weak <laughs> than normal. So before I had just about a little bit up here done and now I've worked down here. Uh, the end of the page is probably down here. And I've done about 1600 stitches since we last met. And I have reached over 179,000 stitches. My goal to the end of the year is to reach 182, and I still have plenty of time to reach that. I'm actually hoping to shoot past that goal to minimize the amount that I would have to do next year if I wanted to finish it. So here she is in all of her glory. We're working on the sixth row sixth row out of eight so there's three I'm um, there's three rows left including the one I'm working on and I'm at 63 and a half percent and I've finally gotten into the groove on the page I'm working on and I, I I immediately got I think it was last night I just got tugged to want to finish the page <laughs> however I have other goals that I also would like to work on so this will come out again. I'll talk about this one a little bit in plans also. So out of the four projects I worked on last week, two of them have been finished, which is fantastic. And the other two, well, the Mirabilia is working towards a finish and the full coverage is, well, full coverage. Um, I do have a new start that I'm going to be starting today, which I mentioned last week, which is Peace on Earth. By cottage garden samplings. Oh, I need me some winter stitching, holiday stitching, and I love cardinals. So last week I had mentioned that I was able to kit, I was able to mostly kit this up with stash floss that worked with the general arts that are called for. The only one I don't have anything remotely close to is the wood smoke. Or is it the pecan pie? Let me check real quick. Of course it's on the far side. No, it's the pecan pie. Um, which is the darker, it's this darker brown and it has kind of like a, it, I've discovered that it, to me from here, it looks like it goes from about a DMC 801 to a DMC like 3031 or a 938 and instead of purchasing the general art for this I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two browns a lighter one and a darker one and on the letters I'm going to do an ombre effect with it lighter up top and darker on the bottom and 
kind of play it by ear of how I want to handle the branches. But I think that's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be stitched on 40 count Stormy Night in Newcastle. This is a Zweigart fabric. And I'm looking forward to starting that today. Depending on how I feel on Wednesday or Thursday of this week, I might also start this one that I had mentioned last week, but I haven't decided yet. So I guess you'll find out next week, next weekend. So those are my plans. Um, I did want to mention a little bit more about Ex Machina. So I've been doing some calculations. And I had wanted to um, get this to 182,000 stitches so that I would only have only, so that I would have 100,000 stitches remaining to do next year. And I wanted to like do that next year. However, when I calculate what that would take, I would need to do about um, 2,000 stitches per week on this in order to keep up that pace and do that, you know, all 12 months, which would mean I would need to double the goal that I'm doing now. Now, granted, I did do 1,600 stitches this past time, and I think I've been averaging maybe 1,200, um, even though my goal is 1,000 per week right now. Um, but I don't know with the other things on my plate if I want to put such a strict goal on myself of doing a certain amount of stitches that's kind of a stretch for me anyway um, every single week for the year in order to finish it because I am not a monogamous st stitcher I like stitching on a variety of projects I have a lot going on work-wise and school-wise and home-wise so <sighs> I'm just kind of debating I, <laughs> if I really do want to make it like a focus on the finish for next year or if I want to just keep the pace I'm going on and then see what happens. Because there are other projects I want to work on next year, other things that I want to finish, which we'll talk about as we get you know, later into December. I'll, I'll bring out some of the things that I really want to work on or start next year. So we'll see, I'm debating. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to go beyond my 1,000 stitch goal each week now in order to set myself up um, for 2023 with as much stitches already stitched as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. So to be determined, it's just I'm always torn because there are so many other full coverages I wanna work on, but I am a progress stitcher. I stitch on things in order to finish them. And so I don't like to start big full coverages unless I know that I'm committed to wanting them finished, which is why I've spent so much time on this one and haven't really brought out any other um, full coverage. Speaking of which, last week I had wanted to do a fifth project. I had pulled out Impossibilium by Amy Stewart and showed you. And I didn't even get to it. <laughs> so that goes to show you. I don't know. So this past week, um, I spent most of Thanksgiving Day by myself. And so I decided to vlog what I was doing. And it was kind of funny because I vlogged a little bit about like what I'm cross stitching on in the past, but I haven't really done vlogging as with other activities. And it was funny because basically on Thanksgiving, I was either cross-stitching, cooking, or sleeping. <laughs> so it basically turned into a cooking show with, you know, some cross-stitching sprinkled in. <laughs> but um, it was a lot of fun to do. I really enjoyed it. Um, I might do more in the future, maybe near Christmas. Um, but it was a really, it was a great way to spend my day that helped me feel, you know, it kept the day going by fast without me really feeling like, wow, it's Thanksgiving, I'm cooking by myself. <laughs> so, um, most of the stuff turned out good. The 
both of the pies that I made came out great. Um, they were delicious. And um, it was the first time I had slow cooked like root vegetables in with a turkey with gravy in a slow cooker. And I loved that. It was so easy and it was delicious. So that was definitely a win. I enjoyed that. Um, other than that, um, my cousin came into town and so I got to spend some time with her. Um, we played some games on the weekend. Um, there was this awesome version of Uno that she brought over called like Uno Flip or something like that, where you have Uno cards on both sides. And so another a mechanic to the game is that you're working through your cards and someone can put down a card that flips the deck. So the deck flips, your cards flip, and then you've got this whole different thing going on. And that was a lot of fun. Um, other than that, it's only, this video is only 15 minutes long, but honestly, I think I've covered everything. Um, gonna work on Ex Machina, gonna work on uh, Gypsy Queen, I'm gonna have a new start, Peace on Earth, and I think I'm gonna try to finish putting up my Christmas decorations. <laughs> I, uh, don't know if I mentioned this last time, but I bought a little 24 inch tree that went onto my like hearth place. And you know, the cats just like looked at it and whatnot. Um, I, but I'm like really afraid of that. My new, the new kitten in the household, Evie, you know, she's going to go crazy about trees. So then a few days later, I put up my little three foot tree on the floor next to it. And she knocked it over like five times that first day. <laughs> she has calmed down around it more now. And so I have my six foot tree like in the box, like out. I just haven't put it up yet. So I've been kind of dragging my feet about it because, you know, knocking over a three foot tree is one thing, but knocking over a six foot tree is completely different. So, um, but they are all fake trees and I, I may just put lights on them this year and not put any ornaments and if they get knocked over not a big deal <laughs> so uh so that's been interesting but um but yeah so that's all I have for you today um I hope that if you celebrated you had a great Thanksgiving um if you enjoy like looking for deals on Black Friday I hope that you found some great ones and most of all I hope that you've had a really great stitchy week and I will see you next time